Hi all. In this video, let's understand what are higher order functions in JavaScript. So before that, we need to understand what all first class functions, what all the built-in higher order functions and what are their benefits. So let's jump in. So usually what, uh, what is first class functions mean? If we have a variable, we can as in number, string and Boolean data types to that variable. But we know JavaScript is a functional programming language in which here we can assign the functions to the variables. Same as what we have done for the numbers, strings, and the booleans. In the same way, we can assign the functions to the variables. This, this is mean by first class functions. We consider functions as same as other data type and functions or objects in JavaScript. So that's the reason and uh, that is called as first class functions. So fine. So what makes a function to be called as an higher order function? So a function can be called as a higher order function if it accepts one of the function. So let's say this is a function and uh, this is also another function and uh, we are calling greeting function and we are passing the reference of the other function. And hello message would be getting the reference of this function and we could, be, we could call this function here. So a function can be qualified and called as an higher order function if it, it one of its argument is a function. So here, say hello is a function. We are passing that function to the greeting function as an argument. So now greeting is an higher order function. This is a minimum example of passing a function as an argument. So also a function is called as an higher order function if it returns a function. So if I call say hello, so I will be getting this function would be written back. So neither of the cases, if we pass a function as an argument to other function like this, or if we return a function, when we call a function, that function could be called as an higher order function. So that's the definition and that makes a function as higher order function because we are passing this function same as other type. So here we are passing a string. So in the same way, we are passing the function also. So it means we are passing a function as same as other data type. So that's the reason we call, and it is in higher order because we are operating on function. So that's the reason it is called as in higher order function. So hope you understand what is first class functions and what, what makes a function to be qualified as a higher order function. So one of the two, two uh, cases, if it is in function argument or if it returns a function, then that function is qualified as a higher order function. So fine. Now let's take a look at a small functionality uh, without higher order function. So I'm writing in small example here. So where uh, uh, we are not using any of the built-in or uh, our used higher order function, own higher order function. So we have taken one array and we are trying to double that array in, in case uh, the array initial input is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, the output comes to two, four, six. So in, in case we are trying to multiply an element with the other element. So here what without higher order functions, we can achieve that in this way. I have used one for loop. I'm declaring one index and I'm trying to check the condition to the length of the array and I'm incrementing it and I'm trying to push. So these many operations and lines are to be done without the higher order functions to implement this functionality. So fine, with higher order, function, uh, higher order functions, it was very easy. So you could uh, see here. So higher order functions, uh, the built-in higher order functions are map, filter and reduce. These are the best examples of built-in higher order functions. So in the in this case, we have achieved the same logic with one line. So I have a array and I'm passing this function to map function. So that's the reason this is called as an higher order function. Map is called as an higher order function because map is a function and we are passing another function as an argument to map function. So that's the reason map is called as a built-in higher order function. Same goes with filter and reduce as well. So here in this case, this function is called as a callback function. Here we are trying to call this function for each and every element and we'll be multiplying that with the two. So in this case also, the output would be the same. 
So it would be the same as the above. So then what all the benefits we got from this logic to this logic? If you observe, these are the below are the benefits we got if we use higher order functions. Number one would be the readability. The code would be very much simple to read and it would be very easy to understand and debug as well. So if you observe the number of lines are also reduced. So here we need to manually take one index and we need to check its condition and we need to increment it. And also we need to use the push, push operation on that array so that we'll be getting a new array. So the, these all code would be abstracted here. So it would be very much easy to understand, read, testable and debug. So also the number of lines also reduced. So those are the best benefits of using higher order functions in our applications. So the one more topic would be writing our own higher order functions. For this, I have uh, done a dedicated video on writing our own higher order functions in which we can write our own map and filter functions. So I will keep this video at the end of the uh, this video uh, as an end card. So please watch that as well to get clear understanding on higher order functions. Thanks for watching.